Hi, hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing Freaky Friday so far. I know you already saw the title and the thumbnail, but the one that I have for you today, it's a doozy. This one is the absolute worst rated 18 plus adult sex toy type subscription box that I could find on CreateJoy. If you don't know what CreateJoy is, it's basically like that website that sells all of the subscription boxes. Not every single one, like Ipsy is not necessarily on there, but if you wanted to start your own subscription box brand, you would probably go to, like you'd probably build your own website, but you wouldn't get so much traffic there right away. You would host it on CreateJoy. I personally love CreateJoy. I have found so many small like niche specific subscription boxes on there that I otherwise wouldn't have stumbled across on Instagram or organically on the internet. So I do think that it is really cool. But one other really nice thing about it is that you're allowed to leave your honest review on it and the brand isn't supposed to have any say whatsoever if that review stays up or not. Where on like a website, on your own personal website, a brand may only choose to spotlight like five star reviews on their main page or hide one star reviews entirely. So I popped on a Create Joy, there is a section for adult boxes. I sorted it by all of the ones that were reviewed because truthfully, this isn't even the worst one that I saw on there. There were some that did look worse, but they had no sales, no reviews or anything like that, probably because they looked terrible. This one, Booty Box, it did look slightly promising. Like it looked very generic or cheap, but it did seem as if it would include items that were at least useful. I will read you a few reviews, but first let me tell you how much this costs because I think this will kind of give you an insight as to why some of these people may have had higher expectations or were quite a bit disappointed. This is $49 per month plus shipping, which I was charged $14 shipping and I did see another review that said the exact same thing. So in the end, $63 total every single month. It is a bit of a hefty price tag for a subscription box in general, but when you're talking about these adult boxes, it is kind of average. Most of them do fall in like the 60 to $120 range. So that's not too far off base, but like what the pictures showed did not warrant that. I did like that they had a few different options. They had a Jill box, a Jack box, or a Jack and Jill box. The description box for all of them was damn near exactly the same, like word for word, except they changed the word like man and woman. So like the Jill box is toys only for women. The Jack box is toys only for men. The Jack and Jill box must be toys for both men and women. They are all the same. You get four to six items. They're supposed to have a value of $100 to $150. And maybe perhaps based on what we actually see in this box, we might have to actually math that out and see what it is that we got. It does only ship within the United States. I did order mine on January 31st, which according to the set, th site, it says if you order in the prior month, then it would ship on the 5th. And if you order at the beginning of the month, between the 1st and the 10th of the month, then it ships on the 14th. After that, you just automatically get dumped into another box. I did order mine on the 31st of the previous month, so I was expecting it to ship on the 5th, especially being that it was Valentine's month, and um, it didn't ship until the 10th, which deemed it too late for Valentine's Day. So if I would have gotten it in the month of February specifically for that reason, um, and not to unbox it on the internet and see what it's about, then I probably would have been extra disappointed in that, um, actually. And then as far as the reviews go, most of the reviews are just one star. Amy says that she loves it, but she's a little bit disappointed in the customer service and never received any shipment tracking. So I never know if I will get the box. So far, none this month, and I cannot get a hold of customer service. That was two months ago. They did respond four days ago. We would like to apologize that you were disappointed in the customer service. The customer the company did undergo some staff hardships due to COVID-19. We're extremely sorry and would like to make it up to you. Booty Box is now under new management with all new staff. Please check your email for a coupon code. We hope to gain your business back in the future. That is the response, like the canned response that they're adding to basically every negative review on here. And it all started just a couple days ago, it seems. Carl says he was charged for it and never received it. Andrew just said it was awful, not worth the $49 plus 13 shipping. Overpriced and low quality. Jason also said it never arrived, but they certainly took the money. Teresa says she's very disappointed, very little things, low quality of items for what I paid. I expected it to be way better. So it's kind of like a mix between people being upset at customer service, people being upset that the quality of the products just doesn't warrant the price of it. So I guess that's what we're going to find out, if it's even worth it at all. <laughs> The inside of the box has a picture of Peach wearing some cheeky undies, um, says booty box, and we have a piece of um, lingerie, I guess we could call it. It's like a body stocking. <laughs> it says one size fist most. Also, it's 
red and I wasn't really expecting it to be red because the picture is black. However, it does kind of make sense for Valentine's Day, right? It's that really weird fabric. I think all of us have have felt it before. It's the same kind of fabric that they use that you um, crochet those pot holders with that weird like hairband. You know this. It is very cheaply made. It's not going to last you more than what, one or two maybe wears because I can just like feel the fabric tugging and pulling as I'm, yeah. I, I think these are gonna tear just like stockings. It's just like a super cheap overseas kind of thing. I, I don't even know how much value to attribute to this. I feel like 20 is what the company would probably say it's worth. I think that 10 is probably a stretch and that you could probably find that on Wish for like a dollar. Then we also also have a little face mask that matches. I do like that they kind of fell with the Valentine's theme, although it did not get here in time for Valentine's Day because they shipped it far too late, even though I was already an existing customer for the month of February, you know? So here we go. Lacy face mask. These are generally also pretty cheap. I have gotten them quite a few times inside boxes, but I do think that these ones are the nicest, most comfortable, cutest looking ones. We have... We have some Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Body Oil. Maybe this is in here with the intent I thought as lube, but now that I'm thinking about it and it's February, maybe, and I got the Jack and Jill box. I probably should have said that. Jack and Jill box, I also used code free ship and I did get that 13 or $14 taken off. Not that I would necessarily encourage anybody to get this box as it, as it stands right now. And it is fairly small and there's not that much more inside the box, but we have this. We have some co cocoa butter, cocoa oil, instantly replenishes dry skin, 48 hour moisture. Yeah, I don't see a um, like a card, an info card in here either. Maybe it's buried at the bottom um, that will kind of better explain why this would necessarily be in here. Um, yeah, kind of weird. Let's go into something that's like a little bag. Maybe we have a little toy in here, a little velvet sack that has a whole bunch of dice in it. So it looks like you have, or die, is it dice? Yeah, one, one die, multiple dice. Two of them have a variety of positions to try, and then we have the two that tell you what to do and the location of where to do it. There, This is also something that's kind of common in cheaper, more like generic adult boxes that I've gotten in the past. Um, not any of the big ones. I feel like the larger ones that are a little bit more established, they stay away from the um, furry handcuffs and the dice, like the kinds of things that you would expect to get in a bachelor or bachelorette's party or the things that are at the front counter of the adult store that are super cheap, quick little add-ons, funny, but not in like a $49 box. Like Heart and Honey, I know it's a little bit more expensive. It's at $70, I believe. It's just so much more refined or Seductive Pleasure. That one's actually on Crate Joy as well. It's their number one rated sex box on Crate Joy. And I've reviewed that a few times on the channel and it is amazing. You just don't see furry handcuffs and like dice in that one. Um, all right, we do have a couple things on the side here. This is kind of lame as well, but okay, kudos for the um, safe sex uh, items in here. But we have three of these Booty Box branded condoms. They don't say, they are latex condoms, so they are not like an allergy free or allergy friendly kind. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why we would want to necessarily put condoms in here because I feel like responsible adults that are purchasing a box at this price would have that, but okay. Maybe those are a bonus because it did say four to six items in here. I've already opened up four items and there's still one, two, three, four more things in here. We have a toy in a velvet bag. We will get there in a second. These are called sensual hot wax. Um, I believe that they are going to be candles over here. What the heck? Excitement, no hurt. Oh, how fun. It looks like they might come in USA colors, red, white, and blue in there. You get three candles to a pack. Oh, I get what's going on right now. I thought that she was attempting to light her own tights on fire with a lit candle, but no, there's actually um, somebody down here. I can't read any of the instructions on any of the sides because they're weird infographics that I don't understand. It says, don't light them when you are in a rocking chair. Maybe perhaps you'll fall asleep and forget about your candles. I believe this one says, don't light them when you're watching TV, grilling, or enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> they're not red, white, and blue. They're black purple and pink and I just don't know if I feel great or safe about using these. It feels weird. 
because it doesn't even say what kind of wax it is. Is it soy wax? Is it, I don't, I don't know, is there bad wax? Next up we have some tassels. These ones are actually kind of cute. They're heart shaped and they have like little rosettes on them. These are adorable for Valentine's Day. I can't knock these at all. I don't know anything about them. I don't know if they're reusable. They do feel decently sticky. They don't, oh wait. <gasps> Oh, they are sticky on the middle too, never mind. But look, when you touch it with your skin, it like pulls it off and kind of away. I don't think that these would be reusable, but it is kind of cute for Valentine's Day. It doesn't go with like the outfit necessarily, but like backup bonus outfit. And one more thing before we get into the toy, and it looks like we have a three pack of cock rings. And these are called the Stay Hard Beaded Cock Rings in three different sizes, use it alone or with all three. You have the small ring for maximum, the medium ring for hard, and the large ring for encircle the upper part of your scrotum to help prevent premature ejaculation. I did not know that three different sizes actually had three different purposes to them. I thought that you used whichever size fit better. I did actually learn something new. That's not terrible, but um, now we are onto the very last item that comes in this box and I don't have super duper high hopes for it for a few reasons just to start. For one, if you've received any of the other subscription boxes that there are out on the market, the toy generally, if not almost always, comes in a package with uh, some sort of hygienic seal. A lot of them just have like this silver piece of tape that goes from like the front of the package to the top and once that tape is ripped or if it's like lightly peeled up it does this weird holographic thing so you know that the seal was broken in other ones like the satisfier pro ones that you get in some of the heart and honeys there's actually like a pull tab that you would pull so that you know that this is like the hygiene seal also it's not returnable so it just seems weird that this wouldn't come in its own box like are we even going to know the name of it or is it going to be something super duper generic this is is the toy. Right off the back, honestly, it doesn't really seem too bad. It's got a very unique shape that I feel like would be versi very versatile, <laughs> honestly. And then we have the on button over here and on the back we have the charging port. There is a charging cord with it. I would say, honestly, that it's not waterproof. It's probably water resistant because it has that silicone sleeve, but that the charger is not a magnetic one. Um, I think there are instructions in here though. This is the high frequency squirting stimulator is exactly what it's called. Ooh. Ooh, oh my god, it is kind of loud. I think that's the very lowest one. That's the very first um, setting. It does say that the decibels are around or under 60 decibels, which is actually, it's that's pretty loud. Um, it's made of ABS and silicone. It has 10 different uh, modes. Two, three, that's so fucking loud. Four, pretty standard. You have 10 different modes. The first three are just like a straight vibration, like low, medium, high. And then after that, you have the different patterns. Um, it says it's seven and a half inches. I don't know. No, that's not seven and a half inches. I promise you that's not seven and a half. Inches. I feel like I got to measure it now. Hang on. Confirmed they're lying. It's five and a half inches. There's no way that that was seven and a half inches. It's not a terrible toy. Honestly, I wouldn't have really been that disappointed in getting something like this. It does seem very versatile. It has really good function. It's super hella loud, but sometimes it just doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. So was the box as terrible as everybody is saying that it is? I kind of sort of think so. Yes, because it would have cost me six $63 to just flat out get this box. And if I would have paid $63 and gotten um, these stockings from China that may not have even fit me because these fit on the very low end of size range on like an average one size fits most toy it's decent we just don't really know much about it these candles though I'm actually a little bit scared to use like I would not use this I don't know what the ingredients are I don't know anything about it they look sketchy as fuck we have the tassels which were actually kind of cute but they appear to be a one-time only the dice super duper generic, the cock ring trio, kind of cool, the oil, a little bit confusing, and the condoms I'm hoping are just like a, an extra item that they throw in every single box. There is no card in here. I don't like when companies do that because then I don't know if I'm actually truly missing anything. Like I do have the correct quantity or number of items here, but I don't have any idea what the value of the items were and I could probably look online for each of these things, but I don't even know what to look. Like I couldn't even find this. I don't even know how to look this up online for us to figure out if the value of the box is actually 100 to 150 dollars but if i was to like look at everything that we have here it would be a stretch to say that it was worth altogether 
$50. So I do think that the reviews are right. It's totally not worth it. The shipping was not as they promised, although I did actually get my box. I just got it later and after Valentine's Day when I should have gotten it sooner because of my time frame. Um, the customer service I have not had to deal with, when you order through CreateJoy, you can go back onto your account on CreateJoy in order to cancel it. And since I did actually get my box and I didn't reach out to them about my shipping, even though I actually did intend to, but of course I just forgot and then eventually the stuff came. I just, I don't know, it's just definitely not worth it. I would have also liked for the things to just be a little bit higher in quality because I feel like they definitely lacked in putting in a quality lingerie piece and like buy a hot wax candle that comes in a nice tin that actually smells good. That's something that you would want to use. I just, I, I do have quite a few complaints about it. I don't think that it's a very good box. I would tell people just to stay away from it. Definitely check out Seductive Pleasure, Heart and Honey, the Side Chick Box. I know there's a few more that I've done. They've all play a bit. They've all been absolutely amazing. Um, this one and anything Amber Rose ever comes out with, you should just run away from. So that's it. Okay, let me know what you all thought about this box down below. I will have the details for it down below. Although, I, again, I don't really encourage you to go there and check it out. But if you want to go on and check it out yourself, I'll put the link down there. I'll put the code um, free ship that I, I found. I just randomly typed in and it works. So can't guarantee it'll still work. Love you all so damn much. Thank you all to my patrons for making videos like this possible. I was able to actually purchase this box and review it for you all. And I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for being here. Hit subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time. Love ya. Bye.